This past week, guys, Hunter Thieves member, that being Yasuo, otherwise known as Mo from the League of Legends scene, alongside many other streamers now streaming Valorant and have done extensively long streams to try and rake in that Valorant cash. This past week, he actually did leak his Twitch analytics, which revealed how much money he has made over the past 12 days. And if you guys were curious, it's, um, it's a lot of money. Let me change my title to Watch Party. Can you walk up and... Oh, I just leaked something, didn't yeah. I? <laughs> Wait, let me see what I leaked. How bad was it? Hookah? How bad was I, the leak? I threw my E into hookah. Uh, that's probably what you Somewhat heard. of a leak, honestly. I'll, I'll be real. Hey, that's a clip. <laughs> I mean, 12 mother freaking days, dude. This dude makes more in 12 days than I make in 365. And that's where I'm at right now. Stuck forever behind this desk talking about other people who are going to be making more money. But I enjoy talking about it because it was this leak that sparked even further the debate we've already talked about once. That being reruns and VODs being restreamed on Twitch and making these Valorant streamers a lot of money. The debate was actually first sparked by a guy like Dr. Lupo. We talked about here on this channel. He tried to vocalize his problems with this. I talked about Electra and Poach and many other streamers out there who, in my opinion, made it pretty clear they were restreaming VODs odds or old gameplay thus to make very long Valorant streams and rake in that Valorant money as we see with a guy like Mo. Obviously if you guys do not know a large portion of that money was probably not made from those longer streams but certainly he probably made a couple extra thousands of dollars because he was doing these extensively long streams which by the way were restreamed VODs. Yasuo did this, Poach did this, Electra did this, Anomaly did this, Classified did this, and tons and tons of other Valorant streamers were all doing these 12, 18, 24, 48, even longer streams, which majority of the time were not live streamed, but they were somehow you know, live during it. And now we finally have Summit 1G. I also want to link it below, guys, for all of you. Osman, um, he did a great video on this trying to explain because when we first touched on this, I'll be honest with you guys, I didn't see the big issue about this. Now, with especially Osman's response, it's too long to actually play for all of you, so that will be linked down below. But alongside Summit and other top figures out there, with Dr. Lupo included, talking about this, I finally understand why it can be a bit egregious and why several streamers out there are taking away viewers from the streamers who are actually live like we gotta be doing it for 24 now like and not even using the fucking proper features like come on what there's a rerun feature man but why is it not used what's the real reason because it gives you less viewers i didn't have a strong opinion on it before until other people until everybody had drops everybody gets drops and it's still happening man craziness I got people hitting me up to host them after so that they can get ahead of a fucking VOD stream. You know what I'm saying? To show real content. You know what I'm saying? And that fucking sucks. And so what it really comes down to is, what do you guys think about this? Last time we talked about a controversy, it was Dr. Disrespect who is legitimately baiting viewers into thinking that he had Valorant drops when he clearly did not have those drops. And now we have several more streamers, a lot of streamers out there and top figures on the Twitch platform kind of abusing the same feature and obviously taking away viewers from the people who are actually live streaming. And I certainly do agree with a lot of the points that Osman did make in his video as well. If you're not live streaming, it has to be so visibly clear that this is a rerun or a restream. And maybe they should be restreaming these VODs in an unlisted category because it's not interactive live streaming. There should be uh, some other way to notify viewers, hey, these guys are not live. These are reruns. These are VODs. And it's not interactive stream as well. I, I definitely am now leaning towards their side of the argument where it does make sense. They are abusing the system which Twitch has put in place. So now it's really up to Twitch. Will they respond? Will they put something in place? And that's the dodgy issue, right? I'm not going to get into the, the way that Twitch handles a lot of their issues out there, but will they respond now as several Valorant streamers are abusing the system and making a lot of money doing so? But let me lastly end on this, guys. I understand where they are coming from. If I was in their shoes of Poach, Electra, Yasuo, or other streamers doing this, I too in my own opinion, would probably do the same thing. But you understand where Osman and Summit and Dr. Loop are upset and frustrated by this because the system allows these people to abuse it. And so I don't know where I stand on this. It's certainly a huge debate out there. Yasuo making 40K plus while AFK is just a crazy, crazy moment. Obviously, a large portion of that was probably not because of abusing the system, but certainly a decent portion was, which is crazy to see how much money these early on Valorant streamers are making. And so do you blame them for abusing the system to make more of that? 
Until next time, I hope you guys all enjoy breaking down esports gaming news here every single day, all day long. Until then, take care, drink your Wawa. Okay, bye bye. <laughs>